Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from Australia and uh, I've been teaching for about 10 years. Been certified uh, in weight training, aerobics, step, most class styles. We're going to do um, an upper body workout today and then go down to the floor and do some uh, lower leg work, but butter and uh, abdominals. So here we go, starting off. Make sure that you have uh, fairly light to medium weights. And we're going to really be working on the actual placement here. So we're going to do what we call a side lateral raise, working the shoulders and side and down. Now you don't have to sit down to this one, you can actually stand up. We're going to lift and down. And look at the position here. I'm lifting with my elbows and keeping my wrists nice and level, straight up and down. So we're working the side of the shoulder, you can probably see it there. A common mistake is to pick the wrists up. If you can see how I bend the wrists, what we want to do is keep them nice and flat. That's it. And up and down. Good work. Give me four more. Four. Excellent. And three. Good. Nice straight back. Tell me in. One more. Give me a bicep curl. Now we're just going to bring those elbows into the waist. Good. Pulling it up and down. Nice. Now careful with this one that you avoid swinging the arms. Make sure you maintain a squeezing action on the way up and on the way down. Good. Keeping the elbows ever so slightly relaxed and bent at the bottom of the movement. Try not to lock that joint. That's it. Let's try four more. For four. Good. And three. Keep those elbows close to your waist. Yes. Back to your side raise. Palms down. Lift for eight. And seven. And six. And five. Nice work. Going four. And three. Good. Two more. And into your biceps. Good. Now remember, if you're finding it too much, doing both arms at once, you may alternate it right and left. It's up to you. It's going to be a little bit of a harder workout if you use both arms at the same time, but that's an option. Four to the side raise. Here we go. Four and three. You might like to do a single each side. That's it. Biceps. Here we go. In and down. In and down. Let's try the single. Good work. All right. One more time. To the side. Single. Up and down. Now give me both arms. That's the way. And the biceps. Singles. Pull it in. Nice job. And the doubles. Good work. All right. Take those palms down. I want you to just pull it straight up to the shoulder joint. That's right. It's an upright row. It's in a fairly wide position. I want you to feel that your elbows go up and back. So you're working in through that top of the shoulder. Good. Give me four more. I should be starting to feel it in those joints now into the muscle. Last set of four. Here we go. For four. And three. And two. All right. The front shoulder raise. Here we go. One arm at a time. Up and down. Just look that arm directly in front of you. No higher than your shoulder joint. And keeping the elbow slightly relaxed. If you're finding it difficult to lift the arm, the more you bend the elbow, the easier it will become for you until you get the strength to do it with a straight arm. Nice job. Let's try four more. This is working the front area of your shoulder. Beautiful. Good. All right, we're going to work the back of the shoulder. I want you to take your weight down, your body onto your thighs. I want you to take your hands underneath your legs and keeping your chest close to the legs. We're just going to lift those arms out to the side and down. Out to the side and down. This working the back of your shoulder. That's it. Let's try eight. Eight. Again, avoid swinging. Keep the arms controlled on the way down. Last four. Here we go. Four. And three. And two. Bring that body up. And roll the shoulders back. And stretch the neck out. Let's go back to the front shoulder raise. Here we go. Single. And single. Now the double arms. Up and down. Nice. Give me the singles. Up. Beautiful. And the doubles. Get ready to go down onto your knees. Here we go. Side raise. Eight. Seven. Six. 
seven. How are we doing? Looking good. Last set of four. Four, keep that head down. Yes, two more. Beautiful. And bring it up. All right, last one for the shoulders. Taking the hands into a even position each side. We're going to push one arm up, pull it down. Now I want you to check that as you push up, your hand is over the top of your elbow. You have a right angle happening, pushing up in that shoulder. Sit nice and straight with a tall back, tummy in, go for four. Beautiful. Three and two. Shall we try doubles? Oh, let's go. Yes. Good. Nice big squeeze to the top and to your singles. Here we go. We're only going to do one set. That's it. Last set here and the doubles for four. Both. Nice. Good work. Last one. Okay, let's pop those weights down just to the side. We work the front, side and rear deltoid part of the shoulder. Now we're going to work this back of the arm, the triceps. What I want you to do is find a, a bench uh, that's probably about uh, a foot off the floor, a couple of feet off the floor. We want to line up our back, tummy in and we're going to dip down and up. Now remember you don't need to go too deep into this movement. All right, because we don't want to work the shoulder joint too much. We want to work the back of the arm. So if you're moving your body away, it means that you're actually not going to work the back of the arm. We actually need to drop the bottom down. That's it. Squeeze. Beautiful work. Let's keep going for four. And four. And three. Nice. And two. And bring it all the way up. All right, that was our little warm up for the back of the arm. We now take one of the weights. I want you to come down to your mat, down to the floor. Other weight out in front, taking one leg forward. Okay, so I want you to rest your body onto your thigh. Bring your elbow, bring it into the waist and keep it there. Now we're gonna, all we're gonna do is extend that weight back and slowly bring it back in. It's called a tricep extension. That's it, and make sure again you're squeezing out to the maximum at the top of the movement and resisting on the way in so you're not letting it just collapse like that. You're really squeezing it back in. Remembering that the weights need to be worked out and on the way back. Good. We're going to try four more of this extension. Going for four. Tummy in all the time. Good. All right. Now turn that palm up to the ceiling. Now keeping your arm behind your leg, give me a small lift. You'll start to feel it almost immediately. It's quite tough. Here we go. For four. And three. And two. Give me little pulses. Little pulses here. Going pulse. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, are you feeling it yet? Yes! Going for four. And three. And two. And well done. Bring that weight right down. Coming back up to an upright position. Again, tummy in. I want you to bring that weight into your waist again. You're going to reach that weight forward and pull. Squeezing back into your upper body. Working through that upper back area. Right into the top back part of the shoulder back of the arm. Reach that weight and squeeze. Yes. Good work. That's it. Trying four more in this position. Good. Four. And three. And two. All right. Take that weight down. Swapping it over to the other side. And now we're on the other side. We've swapped over. The other leg is forward. Again, the elbow into the waist and we squeeze back for the kickback. That's right. Squeezing and pressing. Don't need to uh, really lift the head up. Just keep focused on what's happening in that back of the arm. Good work. Squeeze. Give me four more. Four. And three. And two. Now tuck that arm behind. Make sure your palm is facing up and you're lifting that weight. Just a small way without letting it come back behind or in front of that back leg. That's it. Good. 
All right, little pulses here. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep it going. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice. Bringing it up. Elbow comes into the waist. Reach it forward and back. Forward and back. Good. Feeling that upper body squeeze. How are you doing? Bring it in. Good. And back. Come on, really give that weight to me. Forward and pull back. Last four. And three. And two. All right. We've done those triceps. Coming into your chest. Both weights. Coming up onto the knees. Bring it into position. We're opening out and in, out. So we've done our shoulders, we've done our triceps. Now working into the chest. We've done our biceps and squeeze. Nice work. Drop those weights down and take a little push-up position. Now here we want to do uh, a basic push-up. Check out my lower back. Instead of sinking, I'm holding it nice and flat. We're just going to take some slow push-ups and two top and slow and to the top. Notice how my back stays flat. Yeah, there's no little camel dip. And up. Last four. Yes, nice and slow is the way. Two. More left. Yes. Oh, one more. Good. Down. All right, take it back. Sitting into your heels. Weight back, pressing the shoulders into the floor, stretch out through the chest. That's it. Last exercise into the chest again, onto those knees. Both weights forward. We're taking it up and down, up and down. Now keep those elbows facing directly forward. That's it. And up. Working through the front bicep, shoulder, front of the chest. Yes, try eight more. Now see if you can get those weights a little bit closer together. I can hardly see you. That's it. Ah, four more. It's a hard one. Four. And three. And two. Weights down. Here we go. Last set. Push-ups. We're doing singles. All the way. Going eight. And seven. And six. Keep the back flat. Tummy in. Last four. And three, and two, one to go. Yes, and stretch back. Slowly curl for two, up we go, and back. Now the key to abdominals is really keeping the movement very controlled. You do not need to do hundreds of small ones to get a great abdominal workout. Good, now we want to keep these elbows as far back as we can but still supporting your head. That's right. And curl up as high as you can. Keep your lower back really tucked into the floor. Nice work. Up. All right, let's take it single count. Here we go. Eight and seven. Try and look at a spot on the ceiling. I've got some beautiful clouds up here I can look at. We're going eight. That's gonna keep that chin off the chest, which is very important. Good. All right, one leg across, and we're going to take the elbow to the knee. That's right. Across and back. Good. We've got four more. We're going across. Be careful that you keep that shoulder off the ground even as it comes back. Change legs now. We're going over and back. How are you going? Yes. That's right. Good. Four more this side. Going across and back. Nice job. All right, both feet on the ground, single straight up. I want you to push one toe out to the floor. With this one, concentrate on keeping your lower back tucked really flat so you can feel that squeeze nice and flat along the abs. Good. If you like, you may like to take a little twist to each side. It's an option. Or you can just keep it nice and straight. That's the way. Out and down, out and down, good. All right, both legs up. We're lifting the shoulders, good work. Right up, now take the hands down. I 
want you to keep lifting, keep lifting. All right, palms up, leave the top half down. I want you to lift with your hips. Now, if you find this too hard, I want you to use your arms a little bit. You are able to cheat, especially if you're starting out. Give yourself a little bit of a hand by pressing through the back of the arms. It means you'll still get the abdominals working, but they will be able to work a little bit harder with a bit of your help there. Straight up and down. Good. Keep it going. And up. Nice. Up. Beautiful. Good. All right, reach for your toe. We're gonna reach across each side. And up. We're working the obliques. These are the parts of the abdominals that are on the sides of your body there. That's it. Up and back. Up. Let's do four more. Cross and back. Cross and back. Last two. And I want you to pull the knees in and out. In. Now see how my pelvis rolls off as I pull the knees in. This is an important part of the crunch. Rolling the hips ever so slightly up and off. Good. Now if you want, you may add in the shoulders at the same time. You've got both ends coming together. You can work that separately or together. That's right. Last four and three and two. Bring those feet to the floor and roll it over to the side. Now, before we go into our leg work, I want to do a little bit more on that oblique side area here. So we get rid of the love handles, we get that nice hourglass shape. So take, take your hands back behind your head, keep your hip, uh, hips facing up, and I just want you to take a slow lift to the side here. Very important to keep it on the side twist, but keep the shoulders open. That's it, and squeeze. Nice, and let's speed it up. Up and down, good. Now, this one, you can stay with it as it is, like this. You might like to add a little bit of a leg lift at the same time. That's gonna target the even tighter squeeze directly in above the hip. In, in fact, place your finger in that area there. You should feel it, a tightness each time those two ends lift together. That's it, four more. And three, good two and just back to the single straight up up and down two we're going to change sides are you ready swap over turn it over to the other side okay and we've turned over we're on our other side here i want you to take those knees in open the shoulders to the ceiling and we're looking up and down and up again feeling that tight squeeze in above the hips up and down good eight seven remember you may add the leg if you wish to increase that workout up and down good work and squeeze beautiful keep going for four and three and two and without the leg last four and three come on right up that's it and slowly bringing it down. Now while we stay on this side, we've worked across those abdominals, obliques, into the center. I want to start working into the outside of the thigh here. I want you to take your legs out in front and keeping these knees as if they have a rubber band on them, I want you to keep the leg lifting up and down. Notice how my foot is relaxed and pointing down towards the floor. That's it, up and down. Good, up and down. Yes, up. Now keep these knees together. Try and avoid opening the thigh. We want to feel it in the bottom, side of the thigh, trouble, danger area. That's it, straight up and down. Good, up and down. This will really start working very, very soon. I want you to bring the knee in and extend to the side. In, as high into the chest as you can there. Good, keep that leg low. You don't need to go too high, just nice and parallel with the floor. That's right. Keep it going. Last four. Four. Three. Two. Now lifting that leg straight up, right up. Now again, not too high. You'll still feel it really in the side there. Yeah, it's right in that trouble spot. Just 
why we're doing it. Up and down. Good. That's right. Last four. Going four. And three. And two. All right. Bring that knee in. Right in. Slight extension. And I want you to pulse. Pulse. Now this is the killer. Come on. Eight. And seven. You should be feeling this now if you're not. You need to be working a little bit harder. And four. And three. Good. And two. All right. Take that leg out and over the top. I want you to come up a little bit higher and open your thigh up towards the ceiling. Again, we're going to work, work the outside. We want to work into the inner thigh, lifting that leg up and down. Again, the height is not important. You just need to make sure you're really performing these exercises as close to perfection as you can. That's it. Now, same thing, same deal, except we pull the knee in and push away, imagining you're pushing away a big, heavy object with that heel. Yes. Good. For four. And three. You can even see that inner thigh is taking the tension. One of each. Here we go. We raise it up and pull in. And up. Good. And pull in. Yes. Keep it going. I know there's a struggle, but you're doing well. Come on. Up. And four more like this. Going up. Make sure you're really staying on the side of your body rather than sitting back on your bottom here. Lift. And last one. Thank goodness. That's right. And we're ready for the other side. Swing it over. Around we go. Down onto your other side with those knees coming into parallel with your belly button. Okay, we lift that knee up and down. Again, check out the position. Relax toe. Knees coming together without opening that thigh. That's right. Good. We've got a few more and then we're going into the knee extension. Yes. Last set. Pull it in now. Going in. Push. Think about the heavy object. Pushing with the heel. Good work. Guys, four. And three to go. Nice and strong. Keeping that knee soft without locking the joint. Excellent. All right, we're going straight up, I believe. Going up. This one is really where you start to feel what the hell we're doing here. That's it. Right up and down. Good. Good. Lifting and squeezing. Last four. And four. And three. And two. All right, don't put the foot down yet. Bring that knee. I know it's hard. Bring the knee just a little bit in front and pulse. Forward, forward. You will feel this for sure. In, in, good. Don't put the toe down. Keep it off, keep it off, keep it off. For four, three. Don't put it down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And relax. Good. Just tap that out. Good work. Again, we're taking it over. Inner thigh on the other side. Take your body up a little bit higher. Extend out. And we're lifting up. Staying as far over on the side of the hip as you can. Beautiful. Now let's think about the tummy. Oh, we forgot it. I knew that. Oh, God. We are always thinking tummy. And then our mind goes, when are we stopping? That's it. We're not stopping. That's the thing. Pull it in. Here we go. In. Extend. In. Extend. Good work. <sighs> we're getting there. We're almost done. Two more. Remember, we're going to do one of each. The up and then the in. Go. Up and in. Yes. And take it up. That's it. And bring it in. And take it up. And bring it in. And take it up. And bring it in. Go for four. Only four. Left. And three. Come on. Hang in there. Two more. Yes. Your last one. Here we go. Ah. Bring it in. And bring it round to the front. All right. Let's stretch out those thighs. Bring the soles of the feet together. Dropping those knees out to the side. Elbows onto the knees. I want you to gently bring.
body forward and keep pressing down on the elbows. You'll feel the stretch right in those areas that we were working. That's it. Again, we want to try and hold this stretch for about 20 seconds. Think about the breathing. See if you can relax a little bit more. That's right. A little bit, little bit lower to the ground. Nice. That's it. Okay, coming over onto your knees, taking one leg out the back. I want you to cross it on a diagonal line behind you. I want you to slide back until you're sitting on top of your heel, not actually letting that go onto the floor. I want you to let your body relax onto your thigh and you will receive a strong stretch in that hip and buttock area we were working. Don't panic if you can't go too far down. We're just really just relaxing into the stretch. It is quite a strong one. That's right. Good. And bring it up. Do the other side. Again, the leg comes out the back. You cross it over on a diagonal line and you slide the way back, making sure that you keep your hip off the ground, balancing your body weight on that heel, and just let the weight of gravity take it down to the floor. That's it, relax into that stretch. Ah, very nice. I'm getting a really good suntan on my back leg. That's it. And bring it up. Beautiful. All right, so stretches for those arms. Remember, we're working through the tricep and the shoulders. I want you to take one arm right out to the side, and I want you to press that shoulder joint, looking away from the arm. That's right into that shoulder stretch, front of the shoulder. Now keep looking the same way. I want you to turn your palm up to the ceiling, place it through the little hole in the arm, press the back of the shoulder to the floor, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the arm. Now turn your head away and it increases that stretch. That's right. Nice and relaxed, keep pressing to the floor and bring it up. All right, we have to the other side. Start out, fingertips onto the floor, press that shoulder down and look away from the arm. Really pressing into that stretch. All right, same arm. Take the palm up to the ceiling, feed it through the other side, press the back of the shoulder to the floor and look towards the camera. That's it. Feel the back of the shoulder really stretching out very nicely there. That's the way. And bring it up to the front. Onto your knees now. Taking one hand forward, stretching out through your wrist and your bicep. Taking the fingertips and gently pulling your arm toward the floor. Stretching out through the inside of that arm. And the other side. Gentle stretch. All right, take both hands into a flex position. I want you to take those arms back. I want you to press down and back. And you'll get a nice stretch to the top inside of the bicep. Beautiful. Really feeling that stretch there. And taking one arm up the back. Classic tricep stretch. Elbow stays high. Position is touching the opposite shoulder on the other side there. That's it, for a nice and tall, a little bit of a lean. You want a little bit of a side stretch. That's right, good. And the other side, take it up and over. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. Hope you had a great workout and I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Please come and join me. See ya.